Alright, today, hopefully another metal detecting video. Um, I just felt like I'll film this. Big, big old hole here. Um, so basically a few years ago I had, literally just where that tree thing fallen, and a big dump, like really good dump pit there, for your older fans that remember, found with dog tags and stuff. And we here had a signal, start pulling out these, loads of these bottles. Uh, I guess these are ration cans and stuff, they look like the same size. Recognise them. Some army green paint and stuff. Look, lampshades. Two of them. Uh, yeah, some other stuff. Big old heavy pole. And then I got an M1 grand clip. Pretty cool, didn't find too many of them. Found thousands in that hole. And just pulled out first aid kit. Um I don't know how well you can see, but it's got all right in there stuff. Hopefully more of these will come out because I do love finding these. And uh yeah, Let's see what else we can pull out from here. Alright. Film film a bit awkwardly. Uh to have two more M1 grand clips and Shit, and I just spotted this, look, you know what I reckon that is? An unopened first aid kit. Oh, it's a Sorry. Yep, sure is. That's my second ever unopened med kit. You can see the rust band on there. God, that's pretty mad. I can't believe I forgot my brush. Well, well, that's what that is anyway. And actually, um, in one of my older videos, on the one I found of this, I actually opened, and the bandages are still inside somehow. Um, but yeah, cool. It's going into the good finds, as you can see. I'm on grand clips and shit. So let's see what else we can pull out. I've right, had quite a lot of stuff. Um, before I, showed, I actually broke the top, but. Ink. Isn't that mad? I shall pour it. Pour it this. Look at that. God. Eighty year old ink right there. Still going down and down. I've had a loads of stuff and loads of M1 grand clips. And a few other medkit parts and stuff. But yeah, cool. To next. All right. Well, so I didn't film this too much, but I think this dump is just about finished. Uh, yep, huge hole. It's like a huge cave going that way with mud, dirt. Here are the finds. So got a whole lot of ration cans and stuff. Communication wire. Bottles and it's loads of stuff, boot polish and whatnot. Um, just, yeah, loads of stuff and then the good finds. But I've got yeah, pottery 1942, 1942 again, lovely. And then oh, filled this whole rash can up of finds there. So found another unopened uh, first aid kit. But other than that, just loads of M1 Grand clips, a lot of them, <laughs> um, and a few other of these kits that are at the bottom, but I can't bother to stake out. We have pretty good pit, I haven't had a World War II dump in ages, so it feels good to be uh, digging them again. Now I've got to fill this in. Uh, but yeah, just a quick video there. So, got that all filled in now. I was just quickly searching around the area. Little signal and look, it's a cool little officer's combat belt thing. Very nice. Yep, on to next. Alright, so it is another day. I'm probably gonna make this into like a series of days in someone video. But anyway, the same sort of spot and where the dumps are, the original dump was in there. And I didn't film, but last week I actually found two Willy's Jeep seats 
in a hole just there. Some other odds and ends from World War Two around. I feel I've got another dump in here. You can see some corrugated iron. Loads of stuff down there. I only just started, I pulled out this American ink. Still got ink all inside, so that's cool. And one grand clip. And this, which I am 90% sure is a Thompson mag, so I'm gonna take that home with me. Research, because I, I don't really have any signal. And uh, yeah, I'm sure that's a Thompson mag, so if that is, that's pretty fucking awesome, but. Yeah, anyway, I want to be quick, so, because I've got barely any charge, but yeah, on to the next. Alright, so, I know I didn't, I'm sorry I didn't really film that much, it's kind of busy, but I think i pretty much got everything. Uh, this is sort of what I got, so, we've got ration cans, these things, I'm sure, right, so I'm sure this could be the, a Jeep dump again, because I found, uh, oh yeah, so, so yeah, I think those are two Tommy mags. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a few more on grand clips and stuff, but so I need you. I try to research at home, but I'm sure these are Jeep parts. You got to tell me if you recognise them. One of these things as well. This big old thing. Not really too sure that is. Kind of looks like the gun rack thing, but I don't know. And then you got a. The parts like this. You got these. Other odds and ends. And uh, yeah, I think that's just about everything that's worth showing. This stuff as well. But uh, yeah, anyway. It's a good dump, I think. And yeah, just about everything. Alright guys, so hole filled in now, and I was gonna leave that here and do research overnight, but I thought oh, I could do it here, and it is kind of what I thought it was. So that's an M1 Grand gun rack uh, for the Jeep. So pretty wicked find. Um, I'm gonna leave the other parts hidden there and do more research. Can't take everything with me today, but yeah, pretty cool find. Wicked. Alright, so today we're back at the spot where we're finding all them relics and dumps and had a deep signal here and I pulled out this pretty good condition World War II US communication wire um, stand thing like real, whatever they're called but god look, look at the green paint and all the writing that's still on there sadly it's only half of one but the condition's mad with all the paint um, I've got more signals in there, so maybe the other pieces to it are in here, but they're a really cool find. Sadly, I don't have any brushes on me, so I can't really clean it up too well. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Let's see what else we get in the hole. Alright, well, should you look at that? A complete one. Wow, never half, but God, look at that condition. Brand new look. <laughs> the white bit there, got the R8. And this interesting, interesting mark, I'm not really sure what that could be. I don't know if that's the regiment. This could be from, I don't know, but how cool. Never found one of these before, so I'm pretty happy. And plus the condition as well, of course. But yeah, bloody good find, eh? I've had nothing else from here yet. So, uh, yeah, keep you in tune if there's anything else. Just got this, which is... Um, one of the hooks that hold the back seats to on a Willys Jeep together, so that's cool. That's what we mounted them on. Alright, so basically about, mm, I don't know, like four, three or four years ago, um, I had a big signal on a Fox Soul just over there, and it was this thing basically. and. I had no idea what it was, and it's just been laying here for like the last four years on the floor. So I should never take it home because it's massive. And um, like the other week, I came past it and I, I found it on the floor again. And I could actually, because before I couldn't really read any of this because it was so just like fucked, but I could. And then I went home, I researched it, and it's like this weird 
uh, electricity box um, so you could pay for your electricity it's like one of them things and I thought huh well there must be a, this is the coin bit and I wonder if there's any coins so I came back I smashed it off with a rock I actually opened and um, this coin box was in here I pulled it out and uh, out came two shillings so that's pretty awesome there could have been more I don't know but I'm pretty sure there's um, the silver as well I had to clean that properly but man what a cool find I, I mean I don't know if oh fuck I don't know if there'd be any in here what but what a mad find eh Alright, so, it's another day, but, um, uh, I'm out here at the mansion again, and, uh, it's like my third signal here, and it looks what to be, um, a booby trap, um, British one. It's kind of unusual, because I've actually never seen any here. I've only ever found them at that ammo storage, um, place I just at, um, this is interesting, I'd pull it out live with you, I thought. Let's see, so if I sound weird, it's because um, I just had two uh, teeth pulled out. Um, my whole face is numb. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, let's pull this out. I hope it's not live so I can take it home, but I just got to be really careful, you know. Let's see the end. Oh, God, it might actually have the end on it, I think. Uh, be careful what I do here. It could be safe, so I'm not really sure. Uh. I'm not sure about that, guys. It looks like it's still got the end on it. The explosive. Hmm. Uh. But yeah, there's a booby trap, a rare one. This is the first ever time I've seen one up here. How cool is that? Is that safe, guys? All the ones I find don't have this bit on the end. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. I'm, go I'm probably going to leave this here just in case. But if you guys know if it is safe or not, please let me know. But, uh, yeah, it looks like the detonator is still on that, so, uh, better leave it. But look at the green paint on there, though. It's pretty awesome. All right, on to the next. I have here what looks to be one of them US clover leaf, uh, like storage container things. Um, I think that's definitely what it is, I'm about to pull it out. Other than that, I've had a few bits of junk, and it looks like a few bits of web webbing as well, I believe. Look like, and bandages. Let's get this out anyway. Careful. Never really find too many of these, so it should be good to get out. Yep, that is what it is. Oh, look at that paint. Ah, oh, it's a shame it's rotten on that side though, isn't it? Cool. Nice. Yeah, I'd better give that clean up. Yeah, but that's a good find. I wonder if there's any more in there. Can't see anything so far, but I'll have to recheck. There's some bits of wire and stuff. But yeah, nice find. To the next. Okay, and then this hole here, I just got one of them little US lead seals for like ammo boxes and stuff got the flaming bomb there so yeah pretty cool fine what's the next <laughs> 